because I, I felt very much alone. Mm. And then, um, and uh, like, I also need to be at a place where I can be successful. La. So, mm. like, so, wow, somehow the next day, right, uh, a friend actually uh, called me uh, and, and, like, oh, like, she kind of know that I was struggling at mm. the, in my work. Uh, and she said that, oh, like, you know, Chantal, I know of a bunch of, like, my friends, right, they are doing very well. <laughs> and uh, they are, like, uh, not too old, so... Hi everyone, welcome to Take Away with Avenue 88, where we share insights from the real estate industry. I'm Benny. I'm Jackie. I'm Chantel. I'm Jason. Okay, today's topic will be a very interesting and special one, which we'll talk about our own story and life of a real estate agent Yay! in Singapore. Story time! <laughs> okay, yes, we will also be sharing about why and how we got into this industry, the good and bad about being a real estate agent in Singapore. So to kick things off, I shall ask the question to all of us. Uh, what we were doing before joining this real estate industry and why and how you join. Okay. So, so why not I start with um, Jackie first? Okay, I'll go first. Okay, so uh, back then, I mean, fresh after army, I was working full time in a logistic firm. So uh, the traveling time actually is quite long, uh, at least like 15 minutes an hour because I need to take bus, MRT, then bus in order to reach my office. <laughs> yes. How long is that? Yeah, that's, that's like almost 15 minutes wow, or one hour. Where, where you stay, like, it's like, like so inconvenient. Okay. Like. <laughs> okay, okay. So just to clarify, I mean, I also stay quite centralized. I stayed uh, Bishan, but my office was in at Keppel, Keppel oh. District Park. Right mm. on the other yeah, side of the so, island. <laughs> yeah, and then of course, I mean, although Bishan, but I still need to take a feeder bus to the MRT, then MRT to another bus to the office. Oh, so central is like relative. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so uh, then why I switch? Uh, okay, so why I switched the career is because like, um, like also I was working in the company for four years already. Mm. Then after four years, then of course, uh, I mean, I, re- I was very grateful to my boss and uh, my ex-company. Now, okay, He taught me how to do sales. Uh, so why the switch is because like priorities change. Mm. And like over four years, then I from operation uh, staff to sales staff, then I was I was doing uh, door knock sales back then, uh, wow. back wow. in Tuas. But wow. then I, I door knock the factory out. <laughs> factory wow. well, Is it very scary? Because I mean, the building there looks quite intimidating. Uh. uh, it is, it is, it is. And then uh, sometimes got dogs. Uh. Wow. <laughs> 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 dogs. Uh. Factory door knocking. Uh, that's another level. Uh. Yeah. So. Yeah, so uh, actually then like, of course, after four years, then I, I realized actually I need I needed to, I needed more growth, la, mm-hmm. okay? Then uh, one of the gathering, then I saw my, my good friend, Stuart, okay? Uh, so after Army, he joined real estate straight away. While I joined uh, a logistic firm, logistic firm for four years. Then I see, eh, wow, that guy four years is driving a two-door car already, my God. Wow, <laughs> very while, cool. Yeah, while I was driving a very decent Altis, la, okay? So my, my favorite car back then, yeah. <laughs> So then I realized actually, hey, maybe w- instead of working for others, maybe I should work for myself. Mm. So that uh, then that's why actually I have a thought la, of switching. Mm. Yeah, I see. That's Thanks. how I got la. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Jason? Okay. So for me, uh, I was before doing real estate, I was doing advertising, advertising and marketing. So back then, it was like, wow, this is my dream job. I want to be a, a creative director, sales, <laughs> uh, going out to meet clients, that kind. So back then, it was all about passion. Yeah. So while I joined, I was very uh, motivated every day while I worked so hard, everything. And slowly, just get very tired because the job is very uh, tiring. It's about it's on 99 on a daily basis. So I reach about 10, you have a dinner around. O- OT 10, is 11. a norm, right? Uh, Nine OT to is, nine. Like, is, is like, ha- you have to one. It's not even a, <laughs> it's really a norm. You're saying nine to nine. Your work is your work. Nine, nine. Wow, yeah, okay. nine to uh, nine to nine p.m. Then dinner around 10 plus. So then you start to get a bit tired about it. Then we're looking back about uh, my salary. I just remember I was drawing about 2007 back then. Mm. Uh, that was like many years ago. So it was like, passion start to die off. Yeah. So then uh, one day I remember because uh, before I drive real estate, actually Jackie and Benny, whom I've known for nearly 20, 20 over years, uh, Benny came to my door. I remember one day he was passing me something. I think a camera or something. I can't remember. Do you remember? I don't remember <laughs> at all. <laughs> I remember, I remember, because, this <laughs> I remember because this is the reason why I drive real estate. Then uh, I asked him, hey bro, how's real estate? Then he just told me, yeah, very good. I just closed a 20,000 commission. 20,000 20, is a lot. 20, la, <laughs> so I was thinking that then, <laughs> wow. I mean, Benny who just joined two months got 20,000. Yes, it's like 14 years ago. Uh, 14 years ago, years ago. 14 yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a lot, yeah. of, a lot money. of money for a deal. Yes. Yeah, 2010, even, even, today I think. Also. even today, 20,000 is still a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not bad. Yeah, today is not bad. Still not bad. Yeah. Any deal is a deal. Yeah. 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 Any deal, deal. Then I remember, wow, I, 20,000, I need six months of my basic salary to earn <laughs> money. 
So that so night, true. right, I was lying in my bed. I was thinking, wow, this is really a game changer for me. So then slowly, slowly, I think that, wow, it's sometimes passion can bring you so far. But mm. money is the key thing that actually fits you. I mean, mm. you need money also to just to be successful. I mean, to in the future to get married, settle down and everything. Yeah. So that time I was telling myself, okay, boss, that was time to go. And interestingly, that time when I told my when I sent my resignation to my lab, to my boss, right? My boss actually said, Jason, you cannot make it in real estate. <laughs> <laughs> so uh maybe take this chance to uh thank my boss <laughs> that uh my ex-boss that uh thank you for your harmful words because I took it with a with a motivation for me to yes, be successful. Yes, yes, yes. True, 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 true. So interesting, interesting story that I, I remember all this well. <laughs> yeah. What about you, yeah, Chantel? Indeed, indeed. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, well, wow, you have a very interesting story. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, I think my, my story is also not bad. Yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. Yes, okay, yes, okay yeah. Share. So, like, so I, was, I was studying in a university and uh, back then, right, uh, my family had some financial uh, issues. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, and then, uh, eh, then at the same time, uh, then I received notification, right, that my student loan also not approved. Uh. Oh, my God. Then oh, I'm no. like, oh, my goodness, this is like, this is like those... Um, Chinese drama series, <laughs> uh, like, I just can feel like down, those those down. like like sad music playing at the back already. Like oh my mm. god, my yeah. So uh, that's when I realized that uh, I need to start uh to look for work so that uh, I can um make make a good income lah to yes. uh attend to all the problems mm-hmm. back then la. So for me uh that means that um maybe I can be a real estate agent because uh for me I, I also like um I like architecture stuff. Mm. I always like to look at houses. Like last time when I was studying in JC right, I'll just walk around like the landed estate and just look at houses because. Mm. I just like to look at them. <laughs> yeah, mm. so to me, um, being a real estate agent, right, could be uh, like a fun way for me to solve uh, not so fun problems. Uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, so what I did was that um, back then, the information is not so readily available. Mm. So oh, yes. I very garang. La. So what I did was that one day, uh, I called up my very good friend and said, hey, you want to go to Payo or not? Then she like, okay, let's go. Then she thought that we were just hang out. But I told mm-hmm. her that, oh, actually, right, I want to be an agent. So today, right, I'm going to see how I can do it. But, then she's like, but why uh, to Payo? Le? Why oh, not but, oh, because back then, Topayo oh, uh, has a lot everything. of agencies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the a lot of like real estate, real estate agencies there. So, uh, I remember like we were walking on Toa Payoh Hub, then then my friend was like, uh, but and, and we were very young that time. I think we were like just twenty one. I think. <sighs> wow. Then, right? So then uh we uh we walk around right, and then uh so I just brought her to like the first agency. I knock on the door. Now I can see like a a group of like quite mature people right. They open up the door and they thought like, hey, this little young girl, what do you want to do right? <laughs> then then I just I told them I'm like oh. Um, I want to be an agent and I, I like to know how. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, very silly and very like, straightforward. But That's I, quite random, actually. Exactly, it's very random. Like, you, can you imagine you work, work half day? No, no you, you, like, you're just working in your office and one day someone just knock on your office door and ask you, like, oh, I want, like, your job. How can I do it? <laughs> so, anyway, um, that was kind of like the process. And after that, I also went to knock on a few doors. Mm. So, eventually, uh, I decided on an agency that I wanted to join. Okay. And then, so, um, basically, last time the process is that, like, the agent kind of briefed me, like, oh, if you want to join, then these are the process and maybe some of the causes and you need to go through and all, right? So I didn't think that there is a joining fee or, or like there's cost to, 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 to get a job back then. Ah. Because I was like, oh, I need work, ma. Then like, you, you know, if money, I work... You yeah, have to pay exactly. money. <laughs> yeah, so like when they tell me the full cost, right? Then I look at it, right? Then I was like, oh my. Then, um, so I told I told the agent uh, that, oh, I need time to think about it. Actually, right, it's not that I need time to think about it because I'm ready to work already. Eh. <laughs> You're but so broke. <laughs> yes, yes, sorry. I, I was so broke. I look at the joining fee, right? I think back then because of the, there was a joining fee and there was a cost oh, yes, fee and yes. it all add up to, I think it's, it was like thousand plus or something. Yeah, I yeah. was too broke to become an agent. <laughs> so right. these days, no even joining fees already for yeah. most agents. Actually, it's, exactly. it's quite mostly paid by the agency. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. like a very very different environment. Not very right? different from yeah, last time also that skills future. They yeah. cannot use skills future <laughs> and like take the cost. Yeah, so so I, I told I told I told those guys uh, that like oh I need to think about it. Then I went back. But actually, what I did was that right. I went to like give tuition so that I can save up to uh, be an agent. Wow. And that's my determination uh, to be wow, an wow, agent. Wow. So like fast forward like after a few months right then uh I I save up enough. So I finally told the person, oh, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, then I went to like take my exam and everything. Like, wow, then I realized, like after I- like, Take uh, exam? So uh, back then you CA already? Yeah, correct. Right. Oh. There's a, I think I was the first- First, first batch. The oh, first, first batch. batch. Mm. That time they just started this oh, CA thing. Oh, that means long Yeah, correct. Then, uh, so after like take the exam already, right? Then, oh, pass and all that. Then I realized that, oh my gosh, I need to take like a professional photo, right? For the agent pass. <laughs> then back yeah, then yeah, I was thinking, the yeah. full suit one. Exactly. Yeah, wow. full then suit I was one. thinking, what? Full suit, professional photo. So in my mind, I was thinking, maybe that is like a really expensive thing to do again. Then once again, I was so very broke, right? So <laughs> what I did was that, um, 
I actually went to like one of the branded shops along uh-huh. Orchard Road. Wow. So I, I I went in, I picked up like a nice suit, uh <laughs> like a yeah, like a nice blazer and a nice uh white shirt, right? And then I went into one of the changing rooms and then I flashed on my laptop. And then, <laughs> <laughs> there there and then I did my first uh, corporate photo. Some yeah, some life hacks. Yeah, very very uh, cool. Uh, and I actually had hacks, like a hacks. branded suit as well. <laughs> so while while I was broke, I was also very resourceful. resourceful. <laughs> yeah, and nice that one. is uh my story, like how I joined the industry wow. yes <laughs> wow very interesting. interesting very interesting so for me myself i used to work in admin at a mm. government organization before i switched to a sales and marketing job mm-hmm. uh for a few years i think that was when i always had lunch with jason yep. Yep. because our offices are very nearby so same thing as what i suffered w- won't, won't use the word suffered i was getting through low pay we are getting average pay about mm. maybe two thousand dollars plus mm, minus yeah. there about and long working hours long working yep. hours nine to five eight, nine to six nine office to six. jobs then it's very routine very mundane mm. sometimes it can get a bit boring so yeah. back then i think when i first joined the industry it was in 2008 financial crisis that was when my company actually stopped Mm. all the pay increment all mm. the incentives all the bonuses mm. um then that let me thinking really that mm. what's the next step should yeah. i still stay on and ride through this crisis with the rest of my colleagues or anyone else who mm. are still working in the corporate environment or should i do something else so i would say that back then i was very motivated to have more time for myself and mm. also have a balance for both work and life so sure. Of course, like many of us, also for the money. Mm. Okay, so fast forward to today, I'm in this industry for about 15 years already. Mm. I also clearly remember when I first joined, I just need to walk into the office, go to the registration counter, give a, give a registration fee, do the registration form. Then the next day, I'm an agent ready. I just go through a one-day course and I took my name card on the and i think this is before the ca was yes out. before ca yeah, we before i think the three of us yeah. actually joined before yep, before ca before the start yep. of ca so back then you walk into the office to the agency yes do the sign up you are agent ready you can do transactions yeah. almost immediately ready yeah so, so that's that's my so <laughs> that's, that's the time <laughs> yeah i think yeah. also that's the time where like a lot of uh, family friends relative uh, suddenly become agents yeah yeah <laughs> suddenly they just come in eh you can sell my house. Okay, you sell my house today. <laughs> the next day, they are back working at their usual job already. Yeah, so, okay. so it's, it's true. La, any Tom, Dick or Harry can, 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 <laughs> can sell houses true. back then, but not now. Definitely, yeah, not, definitely now. not now. So yeah, yeah. Uh, the standards, already. the regulation, yeah. the standards have changed already. So, okay, the next topic I want to ask for the rest of us is that what were your first year struggles and mm. also when did you actually mm. achieve your first breakthrough? Mm. Okay, so for me, right, let's say for the first struggle. So initially, I started off as a part-time agent. Mm. So I also not very sure about the industry, although I see my friend driving a two-door car. Right? But <laughs> Back to the friend with the two-door car. <laughs> <laughs> but I was still doing it part-time now because I mean, I cannot afford to like give up my full-time job to straight away jump into real estate because no pay, ma, yeah. right? So until the I got my first listing, then I closed my first deal. Then I send in my resignation. Mm. Then I uh then I come come uh, then I came into full time as a real estate agent. Mm. Then uh, for my so struggle wise actually I feel still okay okay quite smooth for me lah okay thankfully. Then but my first breakthrough so like about maybe two, you already have some experience doing sales back yep. then. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. all your door, door knocking. knocking. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> I I find that actually not yeah. that not that like crazy. Yeah. And then I I think thankfully back then also I was single, not married yet. Mm. Then not much com- not many commitment. Obligation. Mm. Yeah, mm. so actually still okay. My I mean I spend whatever it's only my own expenses. Oh. and back then guru was much cheaper. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One the, year three hundred and fifty. Yeah, exactly. Were a lot affordable <laughs> la, back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. So I mean I tell him market myself i mean we at night we go back to yeah, office yeah, to call yeah, we, to every call day we will just yeah. Yeah. Mera, another Mera, yeah, Mera. Mera office. exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah. so it's our own own time and expenses mm. uh. yeah then for first breakthrough wise then like fast forward uh, i mean two three years into the industry then sometimes i also will look back should i go back to full time or sorry mm. should i not then until one day i close this deal at costa del sol okay again my favorite project uh, okay then uh it's a resale listing then through that one listing, I clocked like 30 over 1,000 wow. sales in, wow. one, in one transaction. Then I was looking back, eh, actually that's almost my whole year pay uh, during back then in a mm-hmm. log- logistic firm. Then I told myself, eh, actually no, la, real estate is the way to go. La. Mm-hmm. Just focus 100% and chong. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Yeah. So I mean, since then, then no, no looking back already. Lah. Point of no return. Lah. Just go. Mm. Yeah. That's what about, me, what about you, Jason? Okay, for me, also actually, interestingly, we three of us actually joined around the same period of time. Yeah. So back then, uh, I, I always like to share these struggles. Is uh M and M, M and M. Yeah. So it's uh money. Network and mindset are actually these three True. struggles that I have. So uh, unlike Jackie that actually joined part time, right? I yeah. told myself, "Well, I quit and really went to it immediately." Mm. So I took the leap of faith. Mm. So back then, when I remember, I only had about five, six thousand dollars left in my bank account. So it was a bit risky <laughs> because you know, like every Chantel say, there will be some joining fees, some marketing. Nah, fees. We always tell our new agent six months, I remember. Yeah, 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 at least six months. <laughs> but yeah, the time, I think, only, <laughs> I think about reckless, one, uh, one, 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 young yeah, and dangerous. <laughs> Then, uh, then mm. yeah, that's about financial wise. So it was my struggles having like enough funds. Yeah. Then network wise, I mean that back then when we, when we joined, we were, we were around twenty seven. Like yeah, we don't yeah, really yeah. have like late networks. 20s, uh, yeah, yeah. We don't have like, people zero, like zero uh, property buyers, property owners. Mm. Our yes. friends may probably haven't even started down to buy BTO or HGB. And back then, really, I for some reason the mindset wasn't there. I was in like a relaxed mode. Mm. So I was like, uh, every day just go back office, relax. I think that we also go like what, go swimming. Yeah, go swimming. Go the JB in the morning. Often. So it was quite <laughs> relaxed back then, lah. <laughs> la. So how 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 the breakthrough happened was that I remember back then my manager steward, uh, I remember these words. Like, he he threw me at one ember. So uh, this yeah, condo yeah. at East Coast, right? He uh. threw me there to do TOP. So I was oh, there, yes. then I really got my hands dirty, got on yeah. the ground to learn things there, right? Yeah. Then starting to uh, uh, talk about network first, so I started to meet people of different level for me. Mm. People like the, for, when I was 20s, there are people of 40s, 50s, people mm. who was, uh, have a True. different, diff, have went through a lot, pop, multi-property owners. Mm. So you get to know these people through the networks. Mm. And uh, I remember my first deal was also at One Ember uh, with the project that I started was a $3,000 rental deal, mm. which was amazing really because it's, I, I closed the deal in like, I think a few days. Mm. Then, the uh it's like a month salary yes but the main breakthrough was that because i remember clearly because i joined in june 2010 by the end of that year right i made actually 100k in six months wow. Wow. that was really really for the, the first the, year the, is the, very impressive yeah yes. very impressive yeah. Yeah. i'm very happy with that and that really changed my mindset totally that i know that wow this is an industry that i can yeah. make big bucks now look back right it's about my three years salary if i stay in my basic pay job Mm. Yes. So that was uh, that from then onwards, right, I was telling myself that wow, this is the right industry to make. I wouldn't say fast money, but make big money. Yes, and yeah, it's definitely. the one that it was a big for it was a big for me for this hundred. And remember mm. back then in during the TOP time, we printed the red color polo tee. <laughs> yeah, <remember? laughs> the super bright red that we have to wear it on site. Yeah, wear it on site at time. Yeah, oh, on site. That well, kind. Whenever, <laughs> okay, we cannot use the word specialist. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah I cannot use specialist. Eh. <laughs> those were the days, ah. Those yeah, were the those days. were the days. Uh, those were the days. Yeah. So what about Demo, you, Chantel? Cool. Ah, uh, yeah. For me, um, like in terms of my struggle, I like. I, I thought like I become agent and then wow wonderful story right? that I'll be like oh rich and like drive like a <laughs> supercar but uh, no first year I only close one rental oh, oh very sad so one I, rental for only the first one rental yeah and I only close that rental towards the end of the first year oh my god <laughs> so like at the beginning right I'm just like oh I, I attended all the standard trainings okay, okay I also did the standard things like oh call call up like FRBO FSBO like I mm-hmm. I did like a number of like some okay. of the standard mm-hmm. stuff uh. okay. yeah but I think because um like um I wasn't really um, guided or like more of like I, I, I don't know somehow for some reason I, I show up but then I didn't clo- close things and I think back then the, the method to like get leads that I was taught like, was that oh you post dummy ads so oh. back then yeah, maybe now <laughs> they, CA can no longer do this encourage agents to do this no more no more no more so but back then uh, that was one of the way uh. so yeah yeah uh, and and because of that, then I okay. Wait, I wait. Also, one. to clarify, yeah. so back then your first agency is not our agency. Oh right? no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is not. It is not. It is not. It's 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 not. So like back right then, right, I every day go in Santosa Co, but not to see houses and give tuition. <laughs> yeah, then, so I was like, oh my. Irony. Then I was like, oh, okay, like when when can I one day sell Santosa Co house? <laughs> so then, uh, that's when uh, I I remember so vividly, like I was uh, I I almost want to give up because mm. I I I had a practical uh, problem that I need to solve, and yes, like it definitely. was actually not like solving it mm. So so I was sad. I was young and sad, <laughs> and then I sat in the office, right? And I I uh, I I I kind of like I I prayed like, actually. Mm, I was like mm, mm. because. It was such a downtime in my life that I was yeah. thinking to myself, like, I really need to be in a place where 
um, I'm working with people that um, is kind of like my friends mm, and definitely. like to be surrounded by people uh, because I, I felt very much alone mm. and then um, and uh, like I also need to be at a place where I can be successful uh, so mm. like so wow somehow the next day right uh, a friend actually uh, caught me uh, and, and like oh like she kind of know that I was struggling at mm. the, in my work uh, and she said that oh like you know Chantal I know of a bunch of like my friends right they are doing very well <laughs> and uh, they are like uh, not too old so so like maybe you <laughs> can consider old. like joining them <laughs> okay. yeah then that's when uh, I, I got to know uh, Stuart <laughs> and, oh. then, and, and then Stuart introduced me to Benny and then uh. like then I, I, I joined like you guys back then uh, when you are still called East Living <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> yes, I still, yes, still called East Living uh, and um, wow and that time it was like such a shift for me because like yeah. the vibe is very different mm. so and I I think that's also then right that I experienced my first breakthrough because I think back then like um East Living you guys were doing a lot of like TOP projects yeah. right yes, yes, so yes, uh, I was also taught like to do yeah. TOP projects I, and I think it really makes a difference right because I just follow like mm. uh, like you guys down to like the the projects and like to, to learn the ropes uh. mm, so yeah. I remember my first breakthrough I uh, really came uh, when I did this project called Travista ah, so bio, right? bio. yes mm. correct like, it was very straightforward I just take one file down and then I go down and then I meet owners and talk to them right? and then hold and, a bunch of keys yes hold a bunch of keys yeah and I think the, the, the breakthrough really came when um I I think the, the first sales deal that I did in Travista was also like uh, a 20,000 comp wow. because at that time we saw a four, four bedroom right mm, and he was a two mil, money. yeah, two two mil, uh, that transaction. Mm, so okay. what I remember the first time I hold that twenty thousand dollar check, oh, I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> like never seen never seen before. <laughs> yeah, back then. Yeah, then and then thereafter, right? Uh, like um, managed to also do like. 30 plus transaction just in oh. that condo itself. 30 which, plus transaction. Yeah, yeah. So like, I think for a young wow. agent, right, it, it was very good in the mm. sense that not just money-wise, but the learning experience that mm. I've, I felt that I really learned a lot and mm. I really like, like I like what Jason shared that he built networks, right? Mm. Like yeah. knowing people who he otherwise would not know, right? So yes, I think yes, it's the yes, same yes. for me that I managed to like know um, a lot of people from like different levels uh, mm. that yeah, I otherwise yeah, yeah. Would, would not have known. Uh. So mm. that was really like a real breakthrough. Uh. Mm. So very grateful Definitely. for that. Mm. Yeah, Very interesting. Mm. For me, uh, I think I, I would have shared the same experience as the three of you. So when I first started out first year, I looked young. I was in my mid-twenties, very you, you inexperienced. Still young, you still look young. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so clients based on looks, uh, they don't really trust me. So mm. they don't really entrust their wow, million-dollar mm. properties for me because I started off doing private properties. Uh, mm. pri resale private property so a lot of them don't really trust me like saying like uh, when, asking me questions like when I when did I join the industry mm. how long have I have I yeah. been here and mm. do I know a lot or what it takes to help them to market the property yeah. so there was a lot of lack of trust mm. so it took me close to two months before I actually closed my very first deal mm. and my very first deal mm. was a uh, FSBO wow. so wow. in case yeah, yeah. so <laughs> in case uh, for for viewers who don't know or listeners who don't know what FSBO is is for sale by owners mm. it's an open listing whereby there are a lot of agents actually mm. marketing yeah. this same listing as well yeah. which makes it very competitive yeah. so yeah. my very first uh, sale deal was an FSBO sale and after closing that deal what wow, this this actually gave me a lot of confidence to to think like oh since I can close this FSBO sale right I should be able to do a lot to close everything yeah to close <laughs> any other deals that yeah, 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 is yeah. available for me so all I need to do is to really build up my network build up my confidence my knowledge and I think within the first year like maybe Jackie and Jason whom I actually work very closely yes. with the very first year we actually spent a lot of time really building up our network knowledge oh, yeah. our in base, the uh, shortest yeah. period base, of time yeah. Uh, yeah. as much as possible so that for me that was my very very first but you know, I, I want to add on right is that I remember back then we wanted to look a bit older yes <laughs> so that's why we will always wear pants and then polo shirt yeah. I know that polo yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's we skip yeah. our trendy <laughs> bright colored yeah. t-shirts <laughs> yeah so we were in colored yeah. colored uh, shirts polo yes. uh, we went to tailor shirts. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, 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 we tried to look Some older of our, us tried to grow <laughs> a bit more facial hair. When we were young, we want to dress. Yeah, so uh, oh, it, now we are old, we want to dress young. <laughs> In a way, it, it, it kind of worked, I feel. Yes, yes, yes. It gives yes, us yes, a yes. little bit more confidence when yeah. we go out and meet maybe like mm. higher level uh, yes, clientele yes, yes, and, yes. and, and uh, property owners. Yeah. So for that, yeah, that's, that's the experience mm -hmm. I want to share. So next question, after all the ups and downs, I want to ask... Mm. 
the three of you and including myself, where are you now, right now? So maybe you can okay. start off with uh, Jackie. Okay, so I'll go first. Uh. So recent years, actually, I'm more into my own uh, team building, okay? Because actually, I realized, like, I mean, money is what uh, got me into this industry, but it's always the people that keep mm. me going. Uh. So mm. like- uh, The friends you make. Uh, mm. Friends that we make and also the teammates and yeah. also the meaning behind. Because actually, I, I encountered like this lady uh, who just joined me from- another agency. So she mentioned actually previous years she had never done sales in her mm. entire career. Lah, okay. Mm. Then when she joined me in the first six months, she has this listing and then she got an offer also, but she doesn't know how to present. Mm. So I went with her to meet up with the seller and then uh, also taught her like how to present it properly because I think the delivery is very important. Mm. Mm. And from there, from that day, then actually we managed to close the deal. Then she was so touched and then she was very grateful, like wow. almost want to cry like that. <laughs> like almost, like almost, but didn't, okay. Then I, then I realized actually, yeah, actually doing as a, like being a leader, leading people, there's a bigger meaning to that. Yep. Mm. So that really sure. keep, keep me going. La. And then of course, I mean, thankful to my client, la, if you're listening. Yeah, la. So <laughs> thanks for the support. La. Yeah, That's where I am now. La. Okay. So currently I'm leading my own division with a team of uh, over 200, 200 plus. Mm. Plus agents. Amazing, yeah. amazing. How about you, Jason? Okay, for me, well, time passed so fast. It's uh, yes. 14 years into the career already. Mm. So uh, as much as we were talking about money during the first part of our segment, uh, yes, it's true. Now we have stability, consistency yeah. in uh, yeah. leads coming in, yeah. businesses. So then I just want to share that really why, where am I now is really about quality of life. Mm. Uh, I mean, I'm a father, uh, with two, father of two kids. Mm my happy wife, my happy kids, it's really because I'm able to spend more time with them. Mm. Quality time, not just time with them. Because like businesses can run on its own. You mm. have consistently, you don't have to spend a, uh, more effort to do this. So it's really very happy and I just want to share this way of life and mm. this, uh, this can be achieved through real estate when mm. you have consistent business coming in and also equally is, uh, important time to spend with family. So moving forward, this is like what I feel that uh, what I want to be like down the road and hope I can share this with people, uh, people around me. Mm. 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 Agree. Mm. Chantel, yourself? Yeah. Okay, so for me, I think I, I started my my journey like with a lot of like uh, financial issues that I need to handle. So I'm just yeah. really glad that I no longer have any uh, fi financial nice. problems now, which is like mm. great, right? Mm. So, and um, That's like really I, a relief. Yes, it is. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's such a fresh air to like feel mm. that you're like not in debt and like yeah, uh, yeah. so like it's really a happier place to yeah. be and like okay. feeling like uh, so um, like right now in terms of clients I think I'm very grateful for the people that I meet like mm. I think some of my clients right they are like um, very nice people like they will ask me out to eat nice food oh, because nice. I'm wow. such a foodie right <laughs> okay. so then they were like oh bring me out to eat nice food and I'm very really grateful I didn't think that like work can have this kind of perks uh, which mm -hmm. I, I enjoy mm -hmm. la, yeah. so and in terms of like work wise I'm um, really grateful for like the base that I get to build in, in, in the past last mm -hmm. time and then it, now it's like referrals right mm -hmm. and another thing that I'm really grateful for is that like I also make good friends in the industry mm -hmm. which is uh, really important because um, these are the people now right that I actually partner with right to work on new things mm -hmm. so um, I think where I am right now is like I think in the past I was like learning the ropes trying to like um, build systems and like improve my work mm. and I think where I am right now right is like I'm at a place where I want to explore um, building new things and better things and to mm. make my work more meaningful mm. and I think I, I'm very happy like, to be at this place nice. doing that mm. yeah and doing this with you guys that's good, uh, that's good. That's good. yeah so for me, after so many years in this industry, I think I've gained a wealth of experience mm -hmm. meeting a lot of new friends and I think slowly passion for real estate uh, grew mm -hmm. because from the start, I think very motivated just by money and also like free time mm -hmm. to manage time on my own. I, after meeting so many different people, all walks of life, owning different kind of properties, I slowly gained a lot of interest and passion to uh, do real estate. Mm -hmm. And to, I'm very, very uh, happy whenever I go out and meet my clients. Mm. Unlike before, whereby I'm always very scared. I need to prepare a lot of uh, information, mm. uh, mm. presentation first before I go and uh, meet them. So now it's very, I find it very uh, relaxing and sometimes very uh, happy la, that mm. I, I get to meet my clients. Mm. Just to mm. go there, to talk to them or True. even to do a short presentation. So, yeah. so when, to, when clients become your friends, la, right? Mm. Mm, not exactly. Sometimes meeting new, new yeah. clients, I also like, Get it's up. not as stressful as before la, true, that, true, true. to say yeah. okay. so I think right now I'm able to better manage myself like likewise for uh, mm. a lot of you here yeah. so okay to the final thing that we want to discuss is that do you guys have any 
tips for new agents and today what would you tell your younger self back then <laughs> so maybe once okay. again I start off with uh, Jackie, Jackie. Yeah. yeah okay so uh, the number one thing I want to tell my younger self actually is to save up now <laughs> <laughs> you spent a lot more last time no I, I also don't know why I spent no, all no. that's the thing <laughs> So in my first few years as, as an agent, actually I'm doing quite okay. I was an achiever also. Mm. Like first yeah, few years. Constant achiever. Yeah, constant. Yeah. Then, but somehow like, I think at least like the fourth year into the career, then I still look at my, bank my colleague. Uh, my, yeah, my, bank, <laughs> my bank account and then my colleague, uh, Jamie, uh, Jamie back then. Then I asked him, hey, is how come, how come no, <laughs> no savings on? <laughs> so I must say actually the money comes in very fast. Yeah. And at the same time, because I'm think maybe back then young and dangerous. Lah. So mm. we spend money also quite fast as well. So really no no savings at all. Yeah. So if there's one thing I want to tell my younger self is to really save up. Lah. Mm. Spend wisely. Lah. Yeah. Yeah. So what about you, Jason? Okay, for me, I just want to give uh, tips, not just to new agents, but agents out there. Uh, although this has been repeated many, many times, it's really about working hard. Mm. But the problem is people do not know how hard is hard. Yeah. Because hard work is just subjective. I work every day, does it mean I'm working hard? Yeah. I mean, My just heart and your heart also different hard. Exactly, <laughs> different heart. So, different level of heart. So just to set, uh, I mean, just to share, I'm a strong believer of hard work. And because yeah. of my focus on GTA, right? I can yeah. clock like 35 viewings a day. Wow. So it's like 35 different opportunities a day as compared mm. to someone who works hard, maybe like five or six viewings a day. It's, it really makes a difference. Mm. I think yes. the, the working hard part that people have to understand is there's really no limit to working hard. Mm. Yeah. It's yeah. relative. Uh. Yeah, it's yeah. relative, correct. And a uh, tip to my younger self is... Uh, once again, something that I can remember because when I went, uh, when I was about one year into the industry, I bought my first car. It was mm. a BMW or something. Mm. But back then, I was given an opportunity to buy a unit at One Ember. It was a two-bedroom. How much? How much? At 1.2 million. Wow. And now, that property is worth at least 2 million. <laughs> so, to my younger self and of course, to people who are young, try, if much possible, don't have to invest much in a good car. But mm. really go into a property investment. Go okay. buy something as soon as possible within your means. And once the property make money, yeah, the luxury stuff, the car, yes. everything can come later on. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, true. So Chantel? buy Chantel? buy house first, then buy. Buy house. Car. House <laughs> and car. <laughs> yes. How about okay. You, so yeah, for me, um, like I, I actually I, I put here like to stay focused and then mm. um to work hard, right? And then repeat yes. <laughs> and make more friends. <laughs> agree, so that's agree, what I like agree. to say to my younger self. But mm. I, I thought through right and I, mm. I want to add on one more thing is that I want I want my younger self to be more courageous. Uh, because I think uh, when I was young, mm. yes, that was young, there is uh, always a lot of self doubt, that there's a lot of ideas that was in my yes, head that yes. I wasn't courageous enough to mm. do. And um, yeah, I think it's important to also be courageous. Uh. Mm. Yeah. So for um, new agents, like agents who is looking to join the industry, right? I think um, it is important to work in a place where the culture mm. um, is good for you, that you are aligned uh, with the values and, yes. and the culture of the place. Uh, environment. And Positive environment. environment yeah. Exactly. Think, right? yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like you need to be at a place where you can really uh, make friends and know people. Mm. I, I really think that it's really important like to mm. be able to make friends and know people because I was a very task-oriented person. Mm. So to me last time, it's always about doing things. Mm. Yeah, but mm. I learned to realize that like as I become older, right? Like mm. the kind of relationship and friendship that you build when you're younger, right? They really en enrich you as you grow older as well. Definitely. So like making friends is very important. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> true, yes. true, true, true. Mm. So yeah. for me, the tips for new agent, I think is perseverance. You need to persevere and you need to work very hard. So it definitely doesn't come mm. easily. Just like the you hear from the stories from each of us here. Mm. So some of us may find it very hard to get immediate results. If you're lucky, you can maybe get your your, your deal in no time. But uh, as long as you do the right things right, I think I think the 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 goals, the objective that you set for yourself will soon come. Um, I always say that it's easy to give up, but difficult to stay on. Yeah. yeah, so especially when you are in a modern day competitive sales job, everybody yeah. is fighting for their own rice bowl. You mm. need to be working twice or even even much harder mm, la, than agree. the rest of us mm. you know, than the rest of anyone else out there mm -hmm. yeah so that's my that's my tip for the new agents out there mm. what would i tell my younger self so same thing i think uh have to start invest early yeah not yeah. just in property like anything that you feel that is worth a eh, making your money work harder for you mm. it can be stocks it can be like fixed d's even yeah. if you don't really want to go and manage all these complicated yeah. things yourself no, no, t bill, uh, t -bill. Yeah, anything t -bill just, just invest yeah, the <laughs> money <laughs> you right. make 
and and make your money work harder for mm. for you. Then exactly. once you have the capital, eh, then you can indulge yourself in maybe yeah. more mm. luxurious items, more like, fancy yeah, items. Go for holidays, good meal, buy yourself mm. a car, maybe. But definitely not indulge in all this yep. right mm. from the beginning. Mm. True. Yeah. So that's the that's the thing I want to probably tell my younger self. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's all for our takeaway today. Uh, with Avenue eighty eight. Thank you for joining us. Uh, in this podcast, we hope this session today has provided a valuable take away for any aspiring agents out there. If yeah. you wish to find out more uh, or ask us anything about this industry, do drop us a DM or yeah. reach out to any one of us. Yep. So thank you and till next time. See Bye. you. Bye. Bye.